Hey, this is Low Elo League with Ash. Today we're gonna to be playing NASA Stop. You can see here we are in the iron, bronze, silver, normal drafts. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So the thing about NASA Stop, the way that I like to play is I like to play a little bit on the safe side. So I always level up my E first. Basically, I'm gonna go for that E damage first, um, that magic damage. Um, it builds a little bit of distance. You know, you can play kind of like as a ranged mage. And um, I'm not really going to be so concerned about using my Q or gathering stacks for my Q. So, because I'm going to be focusing on my E, I go with the Tier of Goddess first. And we need that mana. And uh, I'll get the two pots just for a little bit of sustain. So. Per usual, nothing too interesting in the beginning. <laughs> I'm never really quite sure about these defensive positions and whether or not we're going to invade and wonder sometimes if we're just following the first person who decides to run to river. So I'm going to be going up against Darius in this match and if you're like me, Darius falls into that champion pool of scary top champions. Darius, Aatrox, set especially set i basically perma fan set um if even if i play safe against set more often than not halfway through the game the team starts throwing themselves at set and he has that insane healing that can really just throw the game the other direction so i already know here at the beginning that i'm gonna be i'm basically gonna be playing safe against Darius. um He's stronger than me, he's got more health than me. You know. And honestly, that's okay. I think a lot of the time is just waiting to see when they make a mistake. Hoping to see that we can power up first. I've been thinking lately a little bit to the as I was talking about last time, is you know, looking more at stats and how can I build my stats for my lane opponent. So Darius is going to be out here grabbing me, chipping away at my health. Right now, in the first two, three levels, your E doesn't do that much damage. It does do some damage. You know, you don't, you don't want to do no damage. But um, it won't be that strong until later on past level six. So really what I'm thinking of, I'm going to do is I'm going to build armors. And the reason why I'm thinking about armor is, you know, in the beginning... 10 armor or 20 armor, the percent reduction in damage is more than I'm going to get from building a longsword. You know, a longsword is plus 10 or, you know, any attack damage is plus, it's flat, you know, it's a linear progression. But especially right now in the beginning, while the opponent is not that strong, while, you know, small increase, 10 plus armor will do a lot more early game than later on. So that's okay. That was actually my fault. I didn't see. I was. Um. I didn't see Nocturne. They're going for it, but in the end, it's not too important. So right now, all I want to do is build some gold. Go back and get some items first. I'm not not concerned about my Q stacks. I'm not going to be building Divine Sunder. Just not really something that I feel like building in this game. I think I'm big, big fan of Blade of the Rune King. I think we can get a lot done with Blade of the Rune King. So right now I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm looking for it. Build some cloth armor. And I built two of them. And this is again, once again, why it's... Um, well, I had enough gold this time, but the number one rune I'm saying I'm going to die on this hill is you know, Future's Market. And you'll see many times in this game that Futures Market helps you complete an item two, three, four times. So, definitely, definitely recommended. You know, especially if you're going to be playing defensive, you know, if you're going to go domination, if you're going to go precision, all of these require you get into battles, win your fights. So, you know, sometimes I want something that I'm going to get a benefit no matter what. No matter what I'm doing, no matter how I'm doing, I have this 
flat benefit. So, yeah, at this point, after I get hit with that, I'm not too scared of him anymore. I know that now with these two armors and I'm a little bit out leveling him, I'm not a little too concerned about his damage. So, one of the things when I play top, it's it's funny because when you're playing jungle, you're always looking at the mini map. And now when I'm shift to playing top, just more or less fully focused here on this micromanaging this top. But it looks like our team is doing well so far. I mean, we're behind in kills, and I believe I take a I, I take the time to look to see. Well, okay, who's ahead? And it turns out Lucian will be ahead. And when it's Lucian that's ahead, it's when the ADC is ahead, it is, you know, it's not too bad because at the very at least they'll be squishy. No matter how far you get into the end, they'll be squishy. Better than Fedarius. Fed set. So I take a little bit of a risk here. I know I'm low on health, but I really want to push this wave in. What I want to do is I want to get the recursive bow. And I know I don't have, even with Futures Market, I don't have enough to make it back. So now with about 830, 48, 50, I do have enough to get that recursive bow. And it's probably just personal playstyle, but I'm just a big fan of attack speed. I like, you know, I like the feeling. <laughs> My character is moving faster, moving faster, attacking faster, doing more damage. And um, I do like that as a beginning item. It's, you do get that 15 plus damage on hit and uh, you know I know attack speed and everything is all for um, ADCs and everything but I don't know I don't think it can go I think on Nasus who has such a low base attack speed it does help to have a little bit so. alright here we go I think at this point uh, Darius or I are more even I've got almost 100 armor so I'm going to be blocking almost 50% all of his damage. So going forward, I'm basically going to be focusing on my main damage items and feeling out the game as it goes. So, there we go. So it's important to get the, you know, when you want to get into the fight out, you want to have the minions, your minions on you. They do a lot of damage. I never want to go, especially with Darius, fight him in his horde of minions. Small things, but important things to keep in mind is if you're going to go for the fight, at least have... If you're going to go to fight against somebody you're worried you're going to lose, at least have the minion. So. Alright. Nocturne's here. Not too much I can do here, so just take the lead and let's get this... Rift Herald. So, right now we're getting this Rift Herald. Let's see... Uh, it looks like they're not losing terribly, and the Lucian has the advantage, mid seems to be even, jungle seems to be about even. Nocturne wants to give it to me, but I actually don't, don't necessarily want that responsibility right now. I'm also not necessarily even looking to chip away at Darius's tower as soon as possible. You know, right now the way I feel is, if you are even to winning, I kind of want to keep, um, I want to keep Darius up here busy with me for as long as I can, just because if, you know, Darius gets the inkling to roam, he can really wreak havoc in other lanes and get the advantage, and Nasus is not so, doesn't scale so well, since he's supposed to be played where his power is all coming from his Q, and I'm not, you can see with my... 81 stacks at 10 minutes. I'm not really focusing. Good. I'm still fully maxing out my E. So. Right now I'm a level ahead. I've got the gold. I think just go back and see if we can get an item advantage. So. I'm a little bit of... Um, two of mind of whether... I, sometimes I'm kind of... Undecided with Nasus whether I now want to go Blade of the Ruin King. Because he already has his passive lifesteal. However, I realize that I really like that recursive bow and, you know, a little bit of more life still can't hurt, so. Yeah. Though, I do find it 
not as friendly as the lethality items because of the pickaxe. So, you know, if I go back now and I only have three, four hundred gold, I can't, even with Futures Market, I can't buy the pickaxe. So, at least in the beginning of the game, the thing that I like about lethality items, whether whatever lane you're playing, you know, if you're building damage is, uh, you can incrementally keep building, buying at, you know, two, three, four hundred gold. So, nice, nice. I'm not really sure what all the pain is about. I think Oriana thought I was going to lose that. And um, that's another thing, you know, when you get engaged on, it's really not worth it to try to run away. Um, oftentimes, you're stronger than you think. And um, look, so here's that also that issue that I had. I didn't have enough to buy the pickaxe. So I'm thinking, okay, I already have near 100 armor. Is that really something I want to build? Uh, you know, after 100 armor, it's kind of re diminishing returns. However, I am aware that Lucian is far ahead. And as an ADC, uh, you know, with their increased attack speed, uh, Warden's Mail is a good... I believe Warden's Mail is a good defense for that. So, another thing you're checking right now, I've picked on Darius to check out his stats. And you can see that even though Darius is not... I guess we're more or less even in lane, even though he's lost a team fight, his stats are just... The stats without even an item, his main item build, are just... His base stats, his increase is already so much ahead of him. He's got 50 more attack damage than I. His arm is still pretty low, his AP is pretty low, but his, um... His attack is... Don't, don't get cocky because his attack damage is pretty high. So... That's why I still try to chip away at him. And not try to go all in when he's at full health and... His cooldowns are already. And I really enjoyed this game because it's it's good. Everyone's pretty much managing their lanes where it's going even. So it's never too fun when you fully dominate the other team because I mean, what's the fun in that? And it's also not fun if you're the only one holding your lane and the other two lanes are losing because unless you're like a Darius uh, or you know another champion that really scales or really just by the sheer shake of leveling up gets strong. Could be hard to carry. I'll be the first to admit I'm not I'm not really a great solo carrier. Rarely happens. Doesn't mean Well, I mean guess that's just something there. Some place. Hopefully through watching myself and seeing what I do right and what I do wrong and get there. So. Maybe now would be a good time to see check in where have I made a mistake so far. I think I've Probably still been too, um, too safe. I've had a level advantage over Darius, and now I'm uh, right here. This right here, thing too safe. I definitely could have ghosted for that, and I would have been able to take the tower hits and get out. And so I would think I was just playing it safe there. And I guess when you're ahead, it's not necessarily bad to play it safe. You know, you're ahead, you're ahead. You want to keep that lead, you don't want to throw it. Oh, oftentimes, you know, one one bad team fight, you can really change the direction of the game. However, in that part, I, it wasn't strategic. I think I just, oh, there's a tower, I don't want to chase it. I don't think I can win it. Definitely could have won it. So. Alright. Checking out bot. I have a debate sometimes here. So now I've got my first item. I still haven't got first tower. And I'm a little bit of a... Where should I go? Is this worth pursuing? Obviously it's far too late. But, you know, should I get there for the next team fight? I didn't grab teleport. So, you know, as top, you should usually grab teleport. I feel with the teleport nerfing, basically, and the cooldowns of teleport being so long, that's... I'm not necessarily at a place where I've got really good cross-map teleports. And if I'm just going to be using teleport to run back to base, then I might as well just use Ghost if I really want to. And then I'll at least get a hundred second less cool. Alright, so... 
So I guess my ultimate plan is not that I'm not going to stack my Qs, but it's not my focus in the first 10 minutes. You know, if I build an attack speed, if I build a lead, then, you know, just farming, you're going to you're going to be able to rack up on those Qs faster. You'll be make up for it later. So, yeah. And, ugh. I'm definitely, definitely a level upper with my mouse. Uh, I just, I know I should control 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, I'll work on it. So, I made the mistake last time. I'm going to go for it now. And that's, man, that's Darius right there. I knew I wasn't going to make it after this, so I thought maybe I'd just go for one last, <laughs> one last minion, so. Well. Came out even. I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> it's not bad. For me, coming out even is never bad. We can at least uh, get each other, then I'm a happy camper. So, I'm thinking now what to build. I'm thinking is I'm looking at Darius's stats. And Darius has high attack, and now he's also going to have high armor. So... Likewise, if he has over 100 armor, he's going to be blocking 50% of all my AD damage. And I'm thinking, okay, let me try something different. He's not going to go for any magic resistance. He's got probably like 40, 50 of magic resistance. So I think I'm going to build an Asher's Sooth. That'll give me the extra attack speed that I, I, I like. I like extra attack speed. Um, tax, extra attack speed is also... You know, just good if I can get more Qs off faster. Uh, not that my Kukudan is super low, but um, later on in the game it will be lower. But also I just want to see, you know, maybe it'll work. Maybe, you know, if each hit I get an extra 60 magic damage. That might be worth more than 60 attack damage because of his armor. And, um... Uh, never hurts to have a little bit of magic resistance. Because, you know, as much as I like, I like to focus on, oh yeah, I'm winning my lane, I'm winning my matchup. It's, uh, uh, can come back to bite you if you're not paying attention to the whole team composition. So, it's the game of League of Legends. It's a lot to think about at all times. Uh, too much to think about sometimes. And honestly, I don't think, you know, in this ELO that I'm at, that I necessarily even need to. You don't need to do everything well. Sometimes just doing this one thing. Pay dividends and trying to juggle everything, or trying to play some you know, me getting teleported and trying to make some sick moves, popping up in a bush pot or whatnot. So I knew Lee Sin was there, uh, but he's occupied, so we're just going for this. Yeah. So at this point, I'm pretty comfortable. I've won my lane. You know, I've got the I've got the level advantage. I was able to womp on Darius there, so that's it. Now all we have to do is kind of sustain this lead. And it's another decision inflection. This is also why I like attack speed because... You know, if you're losing in battles, all you can do is go ahead and <laughs> try to get the objective of the game, right? Don't lose the forest for the trees is to defeat their nexus. So, objectives. Objectives. Um, it's important. It's, uh, you know, sometimes there'll be a battle going on by, and they might lose the battle, but if you get two, two turrets from it, you know, I call that, call that a win. You know, winions, winions get there, so. Kind of, um, also a little bit of item management issue here, because, um, my wardens may a little unfinished. And to be honest, I kind of forgot about it. I was looking at the fast, uh, the sapphires here, but whether or not, I, uh, whether or not I wanted to upgrade that. Um, so there'll be a couple situations where you know you have got enough gold to buy something. I'm not sure that I want to necessarily like upgrade my shoes. But I'm not sure I want to upgrade my shoes at this point because I have enough armor. I'm not yet. I haven't yet face that situation where I need the magic resistance and I have enough attack speed so it's kind of like oh, I'll just hold off my gold and let me complete this Nasher's Tooth free up some room because um at least with the Nasher's Tooth 
You know, you don't get that on hit until it's complete. The other good thing about Nasus is I wanted to work so much on other champions, but because I leveled up my E, and because his E does magic damage, his E will also benefit from, you know, the extra AP and the Master Super is just good. So here we'll just do a slow. We've won this. It's, it's in the cinch. I don't even need to look for this. So, I, there we go. I popped Ghost a little early there. I thought he, I thought he was going to get through with it. But um, that's okay. It's okay. So now I'm going to use my additional speed to come defend mid. You know, um, we already got that top turret. I'm not going to chase it down. So it's important to play defense, even though this turret's more or less lost. But really easy, you know, in the mid lane, you lose that top. If you lose the first one, I think you can lose the next one real quick. Just because of that short distance and the snowball effect there. Alright, so all in all, this game is... I wish all the games were like this, where they're even, and you're winning. And, um, but you know, they've got some good kills, like, got some good kills here, but this is what I was talking about earlier, is like, doesn't matter how strong Lucian is, he's going to be squishy. Late into the game, uh, it's almost impossible when you've got someone that can get back half of their health. You know, if you got an Echo, or you got a Set, or, and then if... You know, they get Joe Card and Angel. You're spamming all your spells to kill them, and then they come back. It's it's much more of an uphill battle, definitely. <laughs> all right, about my Nash's tooth. Debating here. I'm debating. Shoot, I don't want to feel my shoes. I'm not. Uh, what should I do for? So when in doubt, I decide to go for lethality. Yeah. So I've noticed. Okay, I've got. I want to get my at least my base attack damage over um, 200, even though I know my Q's is starting to rack up there. So, kind of, you know, a lot of in the game, I think a lot of the decision making in the game is in the first 20 minutes, you know, picking, counter picking, and after the 20 minute mark, it's, at least in the games I play, at least in this elo, it's, a, it's just a grudge match. And, um, which one has which team fight is gonna tilt the game? So, I'm aware that they're there. I'm aware that they're in the jungle. You know, I don't move my map around that much, but I'm, once I'm out of my lane, I'm definitely constantly looking at the map. It's just a habit. If you don't have, you should get. So, yeah, oftentimes in a and it's, it's the team fight situation, it's, you know, who do you focus on? And you'll always hear, no one focus on the tank, you know, on the engage, focus on the ADC. And I think if there's no one else there, that's what you should do. If you're by yourself and it's a group, you should definitely focus for the ADC. Well, one, they are doing the most damage. Two, they are squishy, so if you're going to die, you're going to have the highest chance of winning there. But when you're in already in the bigger team fight and somebody's already engaged with somebody else i think just help them finish it off because a lot of these adcs are a lot, have so much mobility they're slippery so it's just better safe than sorry i'm closing the deal wrapping up loose ends as it were Definitely, definitely, definitely. Not bad. Not a bad way to go. I'm dying doing a push through mid. So. <laughs> yeah, in this situation, I was really debating what kind of... What should I go for? Your turret has been destroyed. I think um, the honest truth is I, I really forgot that my um, Warden's Bell was unfinished. Normally, I don't have two unfinished items, just one. Um, but I knew I didn't want to go for Sapphire. I just... Oh, sorry. Tier of Mana. That upgrade is um, not necessarily sure it's the best use of gold at this point. So, all right. So another thing to keep, um, I really wanted to do in this game is, um, you know, even though you're winning, you can't just let top have split push. You know, leave them alone for too long. They'll definitely get two towers. They'll get that whatever deficit Darius was at before 
still catch up in gold, you know, free gold, free levels, so. Here, again, shout out to my homeboy Nocturne, easy win, and, um, just commit. Although, um, well, I find that I don't have a... I just didn't have the speed here. And I find myself here, at this point, I really wish I had bought... Um, I really wish I'd bought... I decided to go for the Yomu's Ghost Blade. So, it said earlier, you know, when I was playing Yi, that, um, you know, mobility, mobility, mobility is really, really, just really useful. I could have used it to catch up to him earlier. I could have used it to run away. And here I knew I'm making my decision. Let's go play. I almost, I think, was torn between the Dusk Blade because I did not spend my gold going pure attack damage. No, we got the Nash's tooth to put some AP. I thought, okay, you know what, maybe with the Dusk Blade and it's... Maybe I can get that extra, whatever, that percent bonus melee damage that you get from that item. And that can kind of compensate. But, you know, after that, after that, not being able to run, not being able to catch up to Lee Sin, not being able to run away from Lee Sin and team. I was like, no, let me just go for the ghost blade. It's useful. And uh, I have my Q. I don't forget about my Q. My Q does that extra bonus damage. So. I think Nass is um, pretty good, pretty fun champion to play. This kit, you can be flexible in your build. I think it's pretty versatile. So, I think I'm deciding here now. We're kind of at a no man's land with mid. We need all of us to make that push to get that. So I'm gonna just try to side push for a little bit. Um, definitely want to keep your minions if you can. If you're pushing on their side of the map, you know, keep the advantage for you and your team and. Uh, the NPC advantage. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was, uh, was never really much of a top player. When I first started playing, and for a long time I would play Malphite top. Um, really popular last season, I'm not sure if so popular this season. Um, but I think for me, the melee aspect, I used to play a lot of Lux mid. Range. Lux mid, oh, Lux mid is... If I can even get Lux mid. I keep trying to play mid and I always get assigned with my second Earl. It's either top or jungle. I'm kinda tired of playing a jungle. Um but I think I was just scared to play top because I'm scared of team uh, team fights. I'm just scared of fights, you know. <laughs> it's um it's something that I really wanted. I've told myself, well, why do you still play League? And in other aspects of my life, I feel like I get nervous though when I play League. I get nervous. Going for it, I get nervous in the fights. I end up, you know, QWER spamming all my spells, and it's not some kind of I guess nervous disposition that I have. And it's not just like oh, I have in the league. It's present itself in other parts of my life, and I feel like you know, if I have, I can get real emotional control in league. And you know, league is known for its toxicity and raging, and uh, not the only one for sure. I also. I follow the Dragon Ball Fighter subreddit, and that it seems like that game is full of uh, a lot of angry rage quitters. <laughs> but especially in bronze or this iron, bronze, silver, this tranche of elo, um, you know, if somebody's losing too bad, they just, just whatever, dip the, dip on the game. And the worst is um, people want to dip on the game but don't want to get um, what's it called, lever bustered. So they'll just have a click. I'm like, what are you even doing? Like, you haven't even left the game. You're just hanging around Tower 1, Tower 2, not doing anything because you're mad that we're going to lose anyways, but you are care enough that you want to stay and click around so that you don't get penalty. It's That's whatever. I get it. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of the time... Depending on time zones, a lot of, probably a lot of people are just playing the game under the influence. Blow off some steam, and you know, whatever. I'm lit. Let's just who cares. I'm just speaking from experience. <laughs> uh, you know, I man, I've also been the perpetrator there. A couple of uh, 
tipsy games there. So. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident. You know, we're just gonna win. We're gonna win the game. Um, Lucian's advantage is not so much that he's dominating our team. And um, yeah, we're even in kills, and, but we're ahead in turrets, and that's it. Oh man, I didn't even see the that comment from Lee Sin. NASA's that build sucks. So this is the other thing I was talking about. I'm like. People will flame you when you go off meta for your build. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know? Um, but also then this Rel, this is the what's Rel later on, you know, this Rel has got like 210 armor and you know, it fuck, fuck nothing, Rel, <laughs> to, to, to defend your team without 210 armor. You know, maybe you could have spent the gold not on armor. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, my build may suck, but I'm winning, so. And then all, and all of a sudden your build will suck, and then you won't be winning. You know. Yeah, that's all there is to it. I mean, know what you're building. You know, it's not like. I'm, I think at this point I decided to build the, just finish the mana moon, kind of was just like, okay, um, not really sure what else I want to build. We're heading to lead. I was going to see, oh, how much of an attack damage boost I get. Considerable, so just go for it. But, you know, know what you're building. Like, I know, like, if, especially when you're playing top and you're split pushing, like, you need to do turret damage. You need to do, you need attack speed. You know, attack speed is, and, uh, so... I got two attack speed items. I do magic damage. I ain't tripping. Yeah, I used to be real nervous about going off build. I know. I know there's you can't go off lane. No, this is not a wild, wild west free for all. Like, let's guys, let's all go mid or let's have three top two. I you know people try to do those cheese. Um, you know, if they've got a pre-made five, they try to do those cheese compositions, you know, five-man juggle. But those early kills, you know, they really don't translate later on when under-leveled and everyone else stayed in their lane and got all those minion kills in. At this point, I knew what I wanted to do. I was like, okay, we're definitely not going to be able to take this tower. I want to go and take that top turret. I need to get out of here. And I, the, I waffled. To be honest, I waffled. And my team kind of wanted to commit to it, or I, maybe I had left, my team wouldn't have commit to it, and I, um, pretty much knew this was going to happen, so. But, you know, it's a, at this point, I guess, it's a mistake I could afford to make, so. But yeah, I definitely was like, no, man, I'm, I think we should just go get that top turret and then run away to the jungle call it quits, so. Definitely, definitely need to stop doing that. It, it, it's one of those things that when you're ahead, you're like, oh, I do it once, I do it twice. No big deal, but, you know, it's a habit. So once or twice, now it's 100 times in 100 games. And it's, you know, eventually, obviously, you know, what's the goal of this review or of this having and doing this? It's get better for what? To stay in bronze forever? No, obviously, so you can be better and get to move higher and then, you know, actually have to take the meta more seriously. Or builds more seriously. I think I had less when I was playing Yi, I had less said that, you know, oh bronze is fun in the sense that like you can have, I guess, these terrible builds and come out ahead, but you know, high elo it's fun in the sense that you know you both have a certain mastery of the game and you're both testing each other. And that's also you know, that's also the enjoyment there. I, you know, it's not really gonna happen here. I'm not. I'm definitely not there. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even swear to not. I have the OPGG here for um, got these camp timers on. That was useful to me that I'm not jungling in this game. But um, yeah, definitely did not know that if <laughs> I don't look enough at the um, tab, I did not know that the timers were at the top. How long have they been there? Probably forever, and I did not know. So wow, I. I think the lesson there is that you build bad habits early, you learn the game 
wrong early, you could just play a thousand games, you know, and really stay the same. Alright, this was a fun game. Uh, it's good to be playing top again. Thank you. Oh, got something out of there.